On defense, the Jazz. It's a five-point game. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. Conley gets the bucket. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack, and, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. A, a tall and powerful big. Drummond has a natural ability to finish inside. From the Bengals. Doesn't go that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. This time they faced off, it was right here at home where they couldn't get it done. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Well, the kind of low energy effort they played with all night will make a coach absolutely crazy. You can't win if you don't play quality defense. For Los Angeles, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Caruso, the pass to Drummond. And James throws it down hard. LeBron James, ever the showman with an exceptional slam there. One of the best dunkers in the history of the game. Conley for three. Caruso grabs the miss. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. It's deflected, and Gobert gets to O'Neal. Traps in the tray. O'Neal's got five. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender fails to close the gap. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. O'Neal issues to Bogdanovich. Back to O'Neal. Let's it go from deep. The shot's good on the assist by Engel. Eight points for him. I'd say uh, Joe Ingles is proving that as a passer, he is a special player. James kicks to Caruso. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That's foul number two for him. That's already this guy's second foul now. He's either going to have to sit or play a bit more conservatively. And Utah making a change here. Derek Favors checked in for Rudy Gobert. Ilyasova comes in for Bogdan. George Niang, he's checked in for O'Neal. And it's Clarkson in for Joe Ingle. Jazz leading by three. Outside Conley. Pass to Ilyasova. Out to the right wing. Nice ball movement by Utah. He gets that one. Well, we know this. Derek Favors is an accomplished post player. He's got soft touch and will attack the defense. Floats it up for James. An emphatic LU jam. That's a vicious assault on the rim by LeBron. Incredibly accomplished dunker who's still got plenty of bounce in his step. Now here's Favors. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. A shot by Clarkson, no good. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. They trail by three, coming into this having notch to win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, and, and in that game, you see how they built out this roster, acquiring role players who can step up when needed. And that's exactly what happened. Guys came off the bench ready to play. The offense didn't miss a beat. Markeith Morris has checked in for the Lakers. And Utah also making a switch. Royce O'Neal's checked in for Mike Conley. And a slam dunk by Favors. If Derek Favors gets deep post position, it's over. He's going to leave no doubt on the flush. Pass to James. Again, Los Angeles. So far, both teams scorching the net. You got to love it. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. Now, here's Clarkson. He picked up 18 points in the last win against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Here's Kuzma. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Jazz have gone 7-12 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks, and he makes that one. Really? 
really solid recognition. Derek Favors loves to pull the trigger immediately upon the catch. He surprises the defense with how quickly he got rid of it. Here's James. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. James has got eight. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Niang passes to Favors. And here is Ilias over. Clarkson finds Ilias over. Misses the layup. Will return shortly. underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And guys, what we've been watching with the Jazz, what are you guys seeing out there? Well, going to the bench early, they obviously knew what they were doing. As a coach, I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. And so in the game for the Jazz, they've got O'Neal. Elias Silva out there with favors. Then there's Jordan Clarkson, and it's Niang in at the three. Here's LeBron. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. I'll tell you, if you work as hard as LeBron James, as he did in that instance, he's a physical force inside. That's going to be his shot every time. Here's O'Neal. No good from outside. The Lakers trade. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. And Kuzma slams it in. And that's the hustle you love seeing from Kuzma. When he moves like that, he is tough to guard. Oh! And here again, Los Angeles in transition. Up the court they go. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Here's what Utah's going with right now. Gobert, he's checked in for favors. Bogdanovich comes in for George Niang. And it's Joe Ingles in for Royce O'Neal. Well, it seems like every year, Greg, we see some incredible new players come to the NBA, and they are welcome with open arms. Their, their style of play is so terrific. No doubt about it. You know, guys like John Moran, I, I think he's got a chance to be one of the greats. And, and any list about the future of the NBA has to include Luka Doncic. I, I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And, you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. A terrific, terrific play. Three terrific kids. You're right. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, Mike Conley is a three-time Sportsmanship Award winner. He's also won the Teammate Award. And he's never been assessed a technical foul at any level of basketball. Now, some ask if going easy on the refs costs him calls down the road. But Coach Quinn Snyder said, it's hard to imagine that handling yourself with poise and respect can ever be a negative. Guys? Well said. Thanks, David. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Some changes for the Lakers. Andre Drummond comes in for Marc Gasol. And it's Alex Caruso in for LeBron. And Utah with a change here, too. Conley's checked in. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. He had 10 points in the win against Houston. Here's Davis. Lays it up and banks it in. Davis has got four points in the quarter. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. He throw good. Clarkson. The one thing with Clarkson, sometimes he can get a little out of control. And he does a tremendous job creating offense and putting himself in a position to attack. Here's Caruso. He has six. And the call.
ball is going to be. Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Harrell, he's checked in for the Lakers. Conley's shot is off. So for the Jazz, their last game, a win against Oklahoma City. And for players like Andre Drummond, sometimes it's a paradox. Great individual rebounding doesn't always translate into great team rebounding. That almost sounds, Greg, counterintuitive, right? Because you wonder, is it a lack of boxing out? So if they don't get it, an opponent does. What is clear unequivocally, though, there is more to team success than individual numbers. Shots good by Clarkson. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Harold. Pass to Kuzma. Carroll trying to free himself up. Kuzma can't get it to go. And now Utah, fast break. Ingles with the ball. The Jazz working the ball around now. A shot by Clarkson, no good. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Caruso. And the shot is good. The Utah lead has been cut down to three on the bucket from Andre Drummond. Man have they been effective at getting the ball inside. And Bogdanovich kicks to Clarkson. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Clarkson's got nine points in the quarter. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Kuzma passes to Caruso. Up and in on the layup. Caruso's got eight points. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That one goes in. Bogdanovich has got the lead up to six now for the Jams. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Gobert with the block. An intimidating force who continues to wipe away shots with ease. Go to work, Rudy Gobert. Yep, that one goes. And the Jazz lead by eight. And that's what you want to see. Good fundamental sound basketball with the bounce pass. Now Kuzma. And that one released in time, but no good. What a performance. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Look at the history of the Utah Jazz. No championships, but two finals appearances and a couple of Hall of Famers. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the... We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Boyan Bogdanovich with a strong contribution so far in this one. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So for the Lakers right now, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Then there's Andre Drummond. Oh, the Woo! power on that Rudin! Well, at this point, with LeBron rolling, the number one goal on every possession, get it to the king. It's stolen by Davis. Well pulled with a wide open look from outside off the mark. And you will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Conley gets the bucket. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Lakers trail by eight. Caruso looking for an opening. James outside. 
And the dunk by James. Uh, if you're going to step in front of LeBron James, we're going to question your sanity. Just a freak of nature. And the Jazz call time here. Greg, so many people know your story. Born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons. Right. But to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it's humbling. And yes, it brings back a lot of fond memories. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, it has a historic place. It, it does. Well, we felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball. Favors passes Dingles. Bounce pass from Favors. His first shot coming late. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And now it's an 11 point Jazz lead. The pass to Davis. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. He dishes it to James. Gobert with the block. Clock at four. Another shot. And he hits the jump shot. And remember. Davis played point guard in high school, showing off the vision there with that nice dime. O'Neal dishes to Gobert. Gobert double teamed. O'Neal kicks to Conley. Gobert down low. Morris is there. Gobert can't hit. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite level defender, guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. Ice ball movement by Utah. Gobert finds Engel. Conley inside the line, Green for two points. And 11 points for Mike Conley. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. And the Lakers call time here. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up, playing vertical. Gets blocks but doesn't get pulled out of position. Does everything you want from a defensive anchor. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Harrell comes in for Markeith Morris. And Kyle Kuzma is subbed in for Alex Caruso. To the middle. Out to Conley. Pass to Niang. Fires the three. Pass to Gobert. Here's Niang. From outside the arc, Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got four rebounds in this game. On the wing, Davis, all alone. Goes back up, and Harrell with the lay-in. Good. If you do not box out Montrez Harrell, you are opening yourself up to offensive rebounds. This guy is a force there. Clarkson on the wing. Here is Conley, 11 points in the game. He kicks it to Ilias Hope. Niang passes to Ilias Hope, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And the Jazz lead by seven. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. Following this game, they'll hit the road to challenge the Pacers at Pacers Arena in Indianapolis. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Down low. Pass to Niang from deep. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And now it's a 10-point Utah lead. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. James outside to the paint. And Kuzma gets it to go on the assist by James. Kuzma's got six. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Here's Conley, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Boy, don't let the small frame fool you. Mike Conley's so tough on the interior. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah. 
And so Mike Conley nails both of them. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Bobbed up there for Drummond. And it's Drummond with the jam. And when he gets himself into the right position, Drummond is so powerful in terms of finishing at the rim. The only way to prevent that alley-oop is to keep him from getting to the launching pad in the first place. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Jazz out in front. They lead by 11. And time for the... And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Taking a look at the Jazz, we've got Ilya Silva. Jordan Clarkson is out there with Kump. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich, and it's Favors in at the five down low. Clarkson finds Conley, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. After hitting nothing from downtown in the first half, that's his second make sense. Lakers trail by 12. Here's LeBron, and the rejection by Favors. I think you want to see more of this from Derek Favors. You love to see him be aggressive and try to send shots back. Here's Ilyasova. Horton Tucker with the rebound. I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. No one near James as he lets it go. Hero. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Out to Conley, a three ball, 13 feet away, misses off the left iron. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And the Jazz call time here. Jazz with some changes. Gobert, he's checked in for favors. Royce O'Neal comes in for Ilyasova. And it's Joe Ingles in for Jordan Clarkson. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, during the break, I listened in on Quinn Snyder's huddle. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Here's James, and finished off by LeBron. Making the most of the screen, that's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick, no rotation. My goodness. And O'Neal gets it to go. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Here's James, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And Greg, you play with some big personalities. Talk about the best way to manage egos and conflicts in the locker room. That's a, that's a very interesting, uh, interesting topic. No doubt about it. You know, Kev, first thing you learn from middle school on, your team is your family. And let's face it, all families have spats, uh, and so do teams. You just learn to never personalize those things. Never leave any stone unturned. Like, don't let things fester. When there are issues, you address them. Uh, and if you're not taking things personally, you tend to be able to work through whatever issues uh, you may come in front of. Good advice. Here's Ingles. Here's Bogdanovich. The shot's good on the assist by Ingles. Ingles has got his eighth assist in the game. LeBron against O'Neal. Morris trying to free himself up. And really scored most of their points, but he can't score them all, guys. He's going to have to get somebody else to step up. And Bogdanovich throws it down. Well, Rudy Gobert stands seven foot one, and he's an unselfish guy. It puts the pass on the money. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. 
And the Lakers making a change here. Davis is checked in. Ingles kicks to Conley. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Jazz passing it around. Shot is good off the bat rim and in. And the Jazz lead by 14. I'll tell you, that is nice touch from Rudy Gobert. Sends a message to the defense. You better guard me. Well-placed alley-oop pass into the layup. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Conley, the pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Conley. Kicks it to Ingles. Lets it go with a three. O'Neal. At three off the mark. Time running out for the Lakers. Goes up. And the dunk by LeBron. When, when LeBron gets the ball, guys, and there aren't numbers back in transition, it almost always results in an easy hoop. Utah calls timeout. They're leading by 10. 109 left in the fourth quarter. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Michael Conley. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good position. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. A great call to keep running all those sets for him. Teams need contributions from everyone who's been on the road, not just the start. And he's done more than his share tonight. An outstanding performance. Yeah, there's not a person in this building who didn't know the ball was going to LeBron, and still he delivers. The pass to O'Neal. And here's Clarkson. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Clarkson passes to Bogdanovich from 12 feet out. Doesn't go for him. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. They've got to take the first good shot they can find. Now they've got to be efficient with the clock. Quick score, quick foul. And one area where they have it. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they've had less success when they allow the defense to get set. That's why they want to keep pushing the pace. Utah calls timeout. They're up by four. 29 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And so they foul intentionally. Stolen. And now James pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Money! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. It's the first that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. And those free throws will mean a ton now. It makes it a two-possession game. Timeout called the Lakers. They're trailing by four. 23 seconds left in the game. What do you think, guys? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. This is the very definition of desperation mode right now. They need a quick shot and a quick foul. Here's James. Come. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Mike Conley, probably one of the most respected players in the league, and I don't see this guy stopping anytime soon. He brings great effort every single night, plays with a team-minded selflessness, is a big shot maker. This guy has had such a solid, probably underrated career. Here's James. Here's Davis. Yes! How about that? LeBron James always looking for his The court vision unreal. Outside for Caldwell Pope. I love the way he uses his size there to make sure he gets that board. And they need to stop the clock so there's a foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So 
he gets them both, and it's a four-point ballgame. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. Misses the shot. And so it's Utah who scraped by with a win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. With Rudy Gobert. Hey, Rudy, it got a little tense down the stretch, but an impressive win for you guys. Yeah, I think we did a very good job, except the last, uh, the end of the first quarter, uh, we, we played great. We played great. We just got to stay focused to the end of the game. A good learning tool. Thanks, Rudy. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.